Hello everyone, today we will review an outstanding new movie about a thief pretending to be a police officer to steal a diamond who accidentally becomes a super detective. It's an incredibly intriguing movie. Two men slide into the elevator through the steel lock, open a passageway, climbing into the building along the passage, at the same time, the outside team is responsible for destroying the surveillance. John broke through the electronic lock in the jewelry room with a tool. The security guard in the surveillance room found something unusual and came to check. The outside team is not reported. The security guard had walked to the special education department. John finally broke the password before the security arrived. Enter the room. The security check was not abnormal and left. It is unknown that the two were hiding behind the chair at this time. Then John opened a hole in the safe with a drill. Use the inspection mirror to cut the insurance. Successfully Sesame opened the door. There's a giant diamond in there. Unexpectedly, the German team was too greedy. He shot a teammate in the open. So the police were shocked. John had to run away with the diamond. The police were surrounded by a building that had not finished its work. Walked headlong. He stuck the diamond in a ventilation pipe in the building. Then he held his hands tight. Before leaving, he looked back again to remember the mark here. Soon two years had passed. John woke up. He shouted excitedly, because he was about to become a rich man. This move looked like a new prisoner. A face of confusion. This guy is in jail. Soon he fell. He was a dog pit. Then he came to the 5th district in a hurry, but 10 steps ahead. That building has now become a police station. Look at the building in front of you. John was so anxious that he jumped. He stopped the lady without a break. Ask him if this is really a police station, of course. John had no choice but to go in and check. He saw the camera. He's still a man of his word. How do you get up the third floor with a diamond hidden? Suddenly he noticed the delivery man who came to deliver food. There was an idea in my head, followed by one. A man with a nose sweating face, a guy with a tooth biting eye. It's in everyone's sight. John walked into the police station with his six pillar unrecognizable steps. After confirming the name of the third floor, he went to the front desk to try to send it up. But the police officer told him, there are only two kinds of people who can go to the third floor, either with handcuffs, or with a police badge, John doesn't fit any of them. Then he noticed a new police officer at the elevator. So John rushed forward, asked him to help deliver the pizza. He took the opportunity to follow his police badge. Then John found an old man who had not seen him for years, asked him to help fake a police detective's identity. John learned some basic moves from the police on TV. The next day he turned around and became a senior police officer, walked into the police station in a hurry. The elevator came to the third floor. He quickly looked for the location of the diamond. I didn't expect to be in the women's bathroom. John sneaked in quietly. He just opened the ventilation pipe above. A prisoner broke in. John thought he had been found. Find a good time. A black belt kicked him down. Then a large number of police officers came after him. John pretended to have just arrested the prisoner. The police officer asked why the vent was open. He lied that the prisoner just wanted to from this place. He ran away. Then the police officer asked why he had never seen him. John confidently took out the fake police badge. Then he took out his own file. The police chief watched the glory of the above. Send him to the police station with his new detective Casson. Soon the police station received the report. John just ran to the police. A jewel thief. Now it's a super police detective in the police station, John. To get back the diamonds hidden in the ventilation pipe in the building two years ago. To fake his identity into the police station. Not to mention the police station to the police. So he followed the new detective Cass into the police station, they came to a factory, Fatty said he lost three, and the thief escaped from the window, the Cassin on the other side heard gunshots, he rushed to the police station for help, John and there was eating snacks calmly, then find a good time to detain the robber from behind, the other side turned around, I didn't expect it to be the little city who was responsible for the response downstairs, in order not to expose his identity, John tried not to talk to him, then pretend to be chasing robbers, let the little city slip out of the back door. Unexpectedly, the police stopped the police who were coming to help. The small city was blocked in the trash can. I heard the police chief was going to arrange for the sniper to kill him. John rushed to stop him and said he could persuade him, he said, and he raised his hands and walked forward to save his life. John can only do it first. He was caught and arrested. John broke two cases at once. A battle in the police station, but John was only trying to get the big diamond back. He found a chance to climb into the ventilation duct, come to the place where the diamonds were hidden, but the diamonds were missing. John was angry and frowned, then he heard from his colleagues. The hot water pipe was blown up, the ventilation system was washed away. I couldn't find the diamond, John had no choice but to stay in the police station. This evening, Cassin suddenly found him, because he found out when he was sorting out the information, 
John's police number doesn't exist, John was panicking, he explained in a hurry, he was actually sent by the yacht, there was a spy in the police station, to avoid scaring the snake, don't let him get away with it, Kazan as a newcomer doesn't know this, it's just half a heart and half a heart, but the first two times John was in the police, not too much questioning, at the same time, the comrade who was betrayed by greed, after knowing John had been released, I'm looking for him again, he put a remote control car into the ventilation duct, use the camera on the car, find the diamond he's hiding in, because of the identity is almost exposed, so John had to speed up, finally, the kung fu does not fail the heart of the heart, found a diamond in a corner of the room, then he came all the way to the front door, I was about to go in, the chief suddenly called him from behind, it turned out to be the customs warehouse, I need John the detective to get out of the police, John rushed to the scene with two little brothers, the FBI investigator for no reason, drive a few people out, on the way back, John was getting more and more angry, as the head of the police, that's how he got kicked out, it's not a good thing, and with his years of experience, he determined that this was not a simple theft, the drug deal must be hidden behind it, as long as you find a car with a letter B on it, because, only the car with the letter B can open the customs, when I heard that, the two people in front of me couldn't help it, decided to prove myself, so they fell into the abyss, soon a truck was locked down, just do it, a few people quickly controlled the car, as expected, a large number of drugs were found in the car, break through the major drug case, John was once again in a big fight, by enrolling in the government, John successfully entered the government office, he took back the diamond he was so fond of, I'm holding a kiss in my hand, suddenly a voice came out, John was shocked, the diamond in his hand fell into the drug pile, then the chief walked in, John, he could only pretend to be weak, but the chief told him, the federal investigators are sending the evidence to the lab, John looked at the diamonds being pushed away, the jade treasury is not tired, John, who was not willing to move, he proposed that he could use these drugs to make bait, to get a bigger black hand out of the wood, but then someone has to escort him into the camp, the weak chief, in order to make a name for himself, I agreed to help John, John had no choice but to take the order, he knew that this operation would take a lifetime, before leaving, John let go of the small city that had been caught a while ago, then John was escorted by the police, to part to the drug dealer's trading location, after arriving at the place, John first went into the trunk, find the fallen diamond, when he was happy, the small city was cut in, he also wanted to split a coin, when the two were fighting, the German gunner broke in, it was because of his betrayal that John was caught in prison, now he's still thinking about the diamond, he took the diamond in John's hand, I'm about to kill two people, suddenly a huge magnet fell on the top of the car, the whole car was blown up, when the car door was opened again, they were surrounded by drug dealers, the driver said in accordance with the plan, John was his temporary worker, the German on the other side directly broke them, the drug dealer's head won't believe anyone easily, so he handed John a pistol, if you want to prove your identity, shoot the German, John took the pistol, without hesitation, shot a gun in the arm of the German, then the drug dealer's head was loaded with another bullet, this time he let John kill the German, just as John hesitated, with a bang, a large number of police officers rushed in, both sides were on fire, the German took advantage of the car to escape, John was caught in a hurry and rushed into the trunk, other police cars followed, John found a chance to get out of the trunk, trying to get into the driver's seat, but the police in front set up a road sign, and a large number of fire points, John had to jump in first, the German drove through the barrier, drive out of the border, John asked the federal investigators to chase him, but the other side said they didn't have a full moon, John, who was in a hurry, he drove a police car straight up, he rushed to the German, then he stopped at the brake. The two got off the car and held the gun, John said with all his might, persuade him to surrender, you can get him out as a police officer, once you're caught by the border police on the other side, you can only go to jail, the border police on the other side were looking at you, the German released, John took the opportunity to dodge the pistol, pretending to be a persuader, beat him up, then he leaned on the car that turned over, found to be played, the angry German took out his pistol from behind, ready to fire, then back to the border area, the federal investigators found John, said I talked to him when I got back, because they found out after the investigation, John's identity was not found at all. John explained that he was a transnational police officer, he also spoke a few Spanish words, the chief seemed to be convinced, John turned around and was about to leave, then Kasson came up, he called out John's real name, he had already found out John's identity, John thought he was going to jail again, I didn't expect Kasson to say it was too bad, 
we can't act, because they didn't have the power to catch transnational criminals. At this time, John had exceeded the range of power. John was shocked and happy after hearing it. Finally, they said goodbye. John left with a big diamond.